is so all right we're recording we're live testing we're live all right let's buy our items for our uh for our uh, mechanics practice just get attack speed um we can even do something like do this stuff we can do this stuff it's not gonna really matter too much as long as we have enough attack speed i don't really care let's just throw in more in here teleport sure and then uh oh just level these up real quick Kill this guy real quick. Okay, sick. Oh, and we're gonna auto refresh. Now. Auto refresh all this stuff. All right, sick. Now, let us see what we can do with Kaiso. <clears throat> all right. So the things I want to practice first are some kind of uh, basic ideas of you know how do you get the most value out of your abilities, right? So obviously people are gonna be like, oh, just land it, right? But Here's here's kind of a trick I learned. I didn't know until I watched. Um, I think it was Uzi who did it, right? So usually people in lane do this. Okay, you see what happened there? Is that the Q split across you know all these enemies, right? Let me uh, let me just throw another one for effect, right? The 219 to each, and then oh, all of a sudden you know uh, the more people in your circle, the less damage it's gonna do to the guy you want to kill. So let's say we want to kill this guy. It's right. a good day. Uh, well, how do we how do we kind of maximize our Q damage? You need to you need to make sure that he's the only one in this circle, right? So this is three people, this is two people, and then maybe over here, you know, this is one guy, which is how you get the one shot stuff going on, right? So this is especially important for lane because when you try and do some all in, most of the time this you'll see people are just lane. like, oh, you're gonna run them, you're gonna run this guy down, and then you like press Q, and then like. One one missile hits him or something like that. Whereas you know maybe you're trying to run him down or something, and then you could oh wow that's kind of awkward. But you could you could kind of flash over and try and hit only him. Like let, let's say we're going for this guy, and there's a bunch of stuff around us, right? We could isolate him, for example, right? Um, Exploit them. So that's one thing. Is definitely make sure that if you have a choice, you want to get your isolated Q off, right? And oh you know how do you know what the range is? You just gotta play it over and over again, right? Um, you just gotta keep playing with it until you know you have a good feel for it and then note that uh, where you press Q from it doesn't matter if you move or anything like that um, it's always gonna go to that target so if we do something like this it's gonna <laughs> all the, the Q is basically gonna go there no matter what no, no matter where you move afterwards you know it's not like um, Zoe where it changes after you move right so you can do some interesting stuff like you know maybe you're trying to finish this guy off but you want to join the fight over here your Q is gonna kill him and then and hit this guy sure um, the other thing we need to talk about is W. So for laning, um, using your W to go for some kind of poke snipe like this is really good. It does a lot of damage. It has a lot of base damage, right? Um, when it comes to a mid game, okay, so laning, depending on your matchup, you can just, if you can hit them, it's winning. Okay, you want to, you want to practice, you know, landing your W, you know, how do you, how do you get past this guy? Oh, okay, maybe you aim a little bit to the left, you can get out, but... How close can you get it? Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work, right? So you gotta you gotta play around with this too, because sniping people is really important. Um, really important tool you could use. Uh, you can even you know do some interesting things like. Uh, I like it here. Oh, man, I really hate how using the our ulti is so hard. Okay, whatever. All right, you can do some interesting ideas, but um, let's just say for laning, if you can hit it, you're winning. If you miss, that's uh, that's like really bad, right? Missing is like. Don't miss. Let's just say don't miss, okay? Um, if you if you have a choice to use it and you're not sure if it's gonna hit, don't use it. You want to do something like um, he's walking up for a minion, so you go out of vision and you throw your W, right? So let's say the classic example is you know you push this in. Let's say you just push all this all these minions in. You're going this way. Well, actually, since we're blue side, let's go this way. Push all these minions in, and then he's he's you know stuck last hitting, and then let's say he's over here. You can't miss. Right when he's trying to last hit, or maybe he's right in the middle of the lane. You go like this before the next minion wave comes, right? Um, but throwing skill shots out of vision is really going to make it so you can't miss, right? Usually, right? Maybe if this is warded, he sees you, and then you might miss. But um, whatever, that's the idea behind poking. When it comes to mid game fights, let's say we have a rage blade and an ashers, right? Don't use your W to poke, right? You need to use your W oh, to get into the fight. So How I miss or them. or you know. When I say get into the fight, I mean like, hey, we're going in on the back line, you know, let's go. Or, you know, maybe your team has no CC, you need to, tar you need to mark someone so you can join in the fight. But usually, you want to use it on the guy you're hitting, right? 
because let's say you know uh how does your full damage combo look like without w you know something like that well, actually let's do it with our e right right it looks like something like that which is a lot of damage right what happens if you have your w right it's like a lot more like a lot more like trust me when i say that you are gonna do a lot more damage just because it gives you stacks and just the the raw damage on it is super important so if you just have no w because you're randomly spamming in fights why is this smart casted do i smart cast this i guess i do um if you just like randomly throw it in there you hit a tank you see them doing dragon i mean you already you already know they're doing dragon don't use it like that okay um now when you have the death cap is very it's back to laning style where if you can hit them you're winning <laughs> okay if you can hit someone you're winning um unless it's like some tank with like a million magic is this uh if you can hit someone you're winning especially since it refunds a bunch of cooldown so uh feel free to use it as long as you can hit someone when you have the death cap right this is just the standard rage blade nashers death cap build right okay now let's get to uh ulti usage so um there are a few cases few clear cases where ulti usage has great value so like uh using your q you know maybe isolating is the best right or for w maybe we can poke or we can hit the guy we're hitting so we can kill him right um for ulti it's kind of different right obviously you know um we can you know one shot this guy here right everyone knows that one wow did you see that no way which is hold up um excuse me Can you cast Q in the middle of your ulti? I didn't know that. Hold up. <laughs> Look at this. It's hitting everyone. What the hell? Okay, hold up. Let me see this. What the fuck, dude? Okay, I did not know that. That is really interesting. Let me test something real quick. Um, let me test something real quick. Can I isolate Q this guy as I'm traveling in? Is this how this works? Is that how that works? I don't think that's how that works. See, these are the kind of things you need to know before you play Kaiso. Otherwise, how can you play a champion when you don't know your options, right? Like, uh, I did not know we could... Is it basically... Oh, you know, let me see. This is definitely out of range for this guy. So how did I end up hitting him? I cast a Q in the middle of my ulti. The f... Right? Am I insane? I think when you enter this circle, you can start casting stuff. Like, wow, hell yeah! <laughs> Dude, race car, look at this. Sorry, I'm getting kind of getting kind of sidetracked, but this is actually really interesting because um, definitely something that could be really useful. Like, how do you isolate target? How do you isolate this guy though? I don't think it's possible. If you're ulting in, I don't think it's possible. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's possible. Some of the some of the Q damage is gonna go to the your carry. Also, it's not working anymore. Interesting. Okay, I don't think it's very useful because it's spreading too much damage over everyone you're passing by. So you would rather Q and then ulti, right? Or you would rather uh, ulti and then Q. But I would not do it on the way unless everyone's one HP. That would be that would be like carpet bomber if everyone's like one HP and then it's like what's up guys. Oh wait, I just trolled. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Right, something like that. What is going on? How did I isolate this guy this time? Wait, this is actually something that could be really useful. What is going on, guys? How is it like, how does it work? That's the thing we need to figure out. So you can't, you can't, um, queue it up, right? So when I pressed R, I tried to queue. Okay, hold on, we're gonna figure this out. I remember where I was at though, um, in terms of talking about value on your ulti, right? This could be tied into uh, value on your ulti as well, right? Oh, this is awkward. Really interesting. Um, I have no idea how this works. I'm like, right before I get to this purple circle, I'm pressing Q and it goes off, right? You can, I think you can start casting when you get like in it, close to it. But if you do it outside, it doesn't go off like it just happened, right? Um, like, how the hell did I isolate this guy when this guy is in, in range? I, like, cast it right as I enter this line thing. 
And I have no idea what makes it work. I have no idea why, how this works. I think I'm pressing Q before I enter, but sometimes um, when that happens, it doesn't work that way. Well, I can do it consistently now, so that's interesting. So basically what I'm doing is I'm ulting in, and I'm queuing at the last second before I get here, right? That's the plan. So I can, look, I can even go closer, right? Wait, can I go closer? Closer into this guy and still work? Oh my god! Okay, so basically what I'm doing is um, using my queue right before I enter, I enter the, the, the zone. This purple zone. Legit, waiting until the last second to use it. Um, but if you wait too long, it's gonna end up like this, where it hits both of them, right? So you can actually isolate this guy as you're coming in. That is actually insane. That's actually really interesting. Um, so you can actually add that to a list of mechanics you can use. Is because let's say you're trying to kill this guy, um, where this guy's really low and you want to kill both of them. So you can go for the isolate and then aim him first and then turn on this guy, right? Holy shit, that's really interesting. That's really interesting. Uh, can you eat in the animation too? Uh, you can. So you can go invisible right when you come in, right? But I don't think that's as useful. Because two things, right? Um, the only time I can see this being useful is maybe you have one HP, you need to kill this guy immediately. Um, but the reason why it's not useful is because when you ulti in and you want to use your invisibility, you want them to register that you got here and then you use your E to dodge or confuse them, right? But if you kind of use it, you know, immediately, they kind of still have no idea and then you pop out and, they, and then they register that, you know, you're here, right? And that's not really what you want. You want to kind of bait them into using abilities so you can you can dodge it, right, with your E. Okay, let's just kill this real quick. Um, so interesting. Anyways, uh, let me try this one more time. Wait, hold up. Let me, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me try this one more time. Wow, it's really hard to do. I would say it's not consistent, but it's really interesting if you can get it going, you know? It's not something I would use um, just because I can't get it 100 times out of 100. But it's good to know. Wow. Um, so anyways, ulti value is very much... The obvious one is, okay, let's say team is focusing the guy in the back line. This is some kind of crazy team fight, right? And then you're going to... Let's say he got marked because your team's CCing him. You're just going to isolate him, press Q, and then just auto attack he dies, right? That's like the most obvious usage of ulti. Um, the second usage of ulti is something like um, escaping. Okay, and this is the hard one because most kinds of players don't realize that they're dying and then uh, or that they're in danger and then you know they need to get out somehow and all of a sudden you realize that Kaisa can't run away right let's say you use your E you're running away and then they chase you and then how do you how do you get out no idea it's impossible right so what do you what do you do um, well if you try and get out using your ulti like this right you don't go anywhere <laughs> basically you basically don't go anywhere right um, it's just it's not good enough you would say one might say it's just not good enough right uh, it's just not happening, right? Uh, but here, here, here's the the trick: is the if you're using your ulti to run away or some kind of defensive bait, anything like that, you want to get next to a wall, and you want to ulti over the wall. And all of a sudden, your ulti is very useful, right? You can see, you know, you see a lot of players like Double Lift or uh, any of the Korean pros in solo queue are doing this. Um, you want to get over the wall. You can't get over the wall here, right? Because you know, he's not. The target has to be basically next to the wall for this to work, right? So let's say we put a dude here and you're trying to run away. You can do something like that. And you're out, right? Versus the classic, we're gonna try and run, bam. Oh, we're fucked, right? Cause you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't go anywhere. Uh, this doesn't work, you know, Chandler Pillar, you're dead. I don't know, it, it just doesn't work. They run you down and it's just like, I can't run cause you have no E, you have no ulti for whatever reason, no flash, you're screwed. So. Uh, the second second very good value usage of your ulti is escaping over the wall, right? Anything that's wall related, you're out, right? Um, that's really what you want to see when you're using Kaisa ulti defensively, okay? This is what you want to do. And if you can't plan this out, then you should stay super far back in the team fight and kind of go for the, the first usage, which is, you know, we're going to follow up on this guy. Bam, get in there, kill him, insta-kill him, right? Because your Q is isolating him. So, um... Those are your two main uses of ulti when you're being offensive and you're being defensive, right? Um, other uses that you might see or might use but are not going to happen often are something like using someone else to escape, right? Let's say you're getting screwed here, but you can jump to this guy. That's one usage. 
No, you can run. You can run to this guy. Wow, this is really cool. Let's see this. Ha! <laughs> oh. Um, I'm just having fun here. Hold up. Really interesting. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, that's the another usage is maybe you're trying to escape your team. You can't W him, but your team has marked him somehow, right? You can get out using them. All right, that's a plan, right? Someone's chasing you. Here's a, here's a classic one is um, let's say these three guys are diving you, right? Like Zed and stuff, and your team is going on the back line, Ezreal. So you're, you're kiting these guys. Hold up. You're like kiting these guys, but your real plan is to get out and join your team. That's a really good usage if you're trying to... Um, if you have someone marked already, you can bait someone into chasing you and then ulti back for the other guy, right? Um, that's a really good one. Uh, those are pretty much the best ones off the top of my head, right? Um, all the others, probably not good enough, right? Uh, you'd probably rather hold on to your ulti. Another usage you might see, but isn't as effective, I think, is using it to block damage, right? Just the shield itself. But... Oftentimes, um, the shield doesn't really make as much of a difference, right? Maybe in these level 6 fights. But in these team fights, you would rather have the repositioning uh, tool instead of using it for a raw shield, right? Only when you're desperate, I think, is when you would need to use it for a shield, right? You really want to go over walls. That's, 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 the, uh, that's the game winning one. Going over walls or killing someone, right? You would say. You can even do some, some crazy shit, you know? Like, uh, let's mark this guy, right? Mark this guy. Woo, what's up? And then isolate this guy, right? Some interesting stuff um, can happen with this champion. So it's it's basically pretty much up to you to use it creatively, right? So we can even do stuff like, um, oh my god. Wait, you can't ulti if you can't see them, right? Oh my god. That's definitely something you should know. Um, you can't ulti if you can't see them. Interesting. Okay, let's put a word here first. Um, other mechanics you should know are um, anything like flash interactions. Okay, so when we talk about flash interactions, we mean what kind of fancy stuff can you do with flash? Right, so what do you guys think? Well, it's Q flash, right? It's not that you Q and then flash into them. It's you Q and you flash out. Right, similar to how we were showing um, you can Q isolate and then ult and it's not going to... The, tar the Q missile targets aren't going to change, right? It's the same idea. Wow, I screwed that one up. Hold up. Right, the Q, the Q targets are not going to change, right? So maybe you're, you know, all inning this guy, but then you need to get out for whatever reason. You Q flash, and all these, these missiles are going to come in, right? But honestly, that's not something you really need to know. This, this is the, the one that's going to give you more options is your, your W flash, right? So... W flash is exactly like S0 Q flash, okay? So if you guys know how S0 Q flash works, it's the missile will come out from where you um, flash to, okay? Missile comes out where you flash to. So if I'm flashing here, missile is coming out of here. And it's going into the direction where your cursor is. So like that, right? So if I, my cursor is right here and I flash over here, the missile is going this way, right? Like that, right? You can even do some crazy stuff like uh, Zed's diving you, you you can W flash to where your body is, right? Right when he comes out of his shadow, right? That's an interesting one. Um, actually, I actually haven't gotten to use that in game, but uh, you could try, right? The other the other real important part about this is that um, it's really good when you're trying to debate, right? Let's say when they're chasing you in a straight line and you're dying or something, you can W flash. And you can guarantee that you're getting the W off without, you know, stunning yourself because you're, you're throwing your W, they're going to kill you, right? So if you can W flash, make distance, and then one-shot them, that could be really good. It does a lot of damage. Like, it does a lot of damage, dude. Your W, dude, your W is like one of the most important parts about your kit. Actually, all these abilities are really important, I would say. But um, W flash can be really useful, right? You can go over walls and then come back over, right? Um, one useful combo to know is the full to zero combo without taking damage. Right, so let's say they're face checking because you have one HP, but you're a six item Kaisa late game. You can do something like, uh, you know, auto attack QE, W flash, and ulti back over. And that's gonna do maximum amount of damage without risking any, a single point of your health, right? And the reason why you're not risking any health is because uh, right after you auto attacked, you went invisible, and then you W flash over the wall or something, or you can even W flash backwards, and then you can come back in. And 
that's zero risk. Right? You'd say that's usually speaking zero risk for you know a lot of damage. Right? So like, how, how much damage can we do with this? Right, 1,200 damage uh, for free. Well, not really for free, but 1,200 damage, and they, they, they had zero response. Like, they, they can't really do anything about it, right? Even if they know it's coming, I don't really know what you can do about it, right? Because you're just going invisible immediately, and then you're out, and you come back in, and there's nothing they can do, right? So that's that's a really important combo, I would say. Um, that could be good to know, right? In situations where you have no HP, but you can still kill him, how do you do it? Because most people would just walk up, Q, and then they're dead. <laughs> Right? Um, you need to figure out a way to, you know, maximize damage without, you know, actually dying. So that's that's one one thing you could do with your W flash, right? W flash could be, it's not used often, but it is uh, something you can do, right? Um, and then when we want to talk about our E usage, right? The safe, the best safe E usage is, you know, you're, you're baiting a Morgana Q and then you E sideways. Right? That's the best, that's the best case usage, right? We'll say. Um, one thing you shouldn't do is, let me buy this. One thing you shouldn't do is what I learned the other day and kind of what prompted me to make this video because, you know, things that you should know before playing Kai'Sa is if you press your E, you can't use your abilities while you are using your E, right? It doesn't work that way. Um, you're locked out of using anything. No, you're also locked out of using items. Well, actually, it seems like you can use trinkets, right? But, uh, you can't use QSS. Right, so I'm spamming three right now. It doesn't work that way. It only works. It only the QSS only works after your E is over. So I actually learned that against um, TF Gold Card to, uh, and we lost the game because I was trying to bait. I was trying to bait Gold Card. I pressed E. He stunned me, and then I couldn't QSS the whole time. So that was kind of awkward. But yeah, if you're using, if you're doing some kind of QSS bait, save your E, and then QSS, and then E. Okay, you can always QSS and then E. But if you use your E, you're you gotta make sure there's a specific purpose in mind, okay? Specific purposes could be you need to dodge something. Or let's say you dash in and then you, you dodge something, right? That's that's a basic that's a, a basic misdirection tactic, right? Is you can you can just ult in, go invisible, or here we go. Here's here's like the the ideal is you ult in, run one way, go invisible, go the other way, right? That's the, the really confusing one, right? If anyone's ever played Vayne, you know, you're very familiar with this kind of tactic where you pretend to go in one direction and then you go in the other direction. Wow, that was a really bad example, but you know what I'm saying, right? Um, so yeah, that's the first usage is safety, using it to dodge something. Um, the other, the second usage, well, safety and invisible. The second usage is when you're going to go for some kind of instant trade like that. Okay, you can you can dash in, I'll attack Q, and then continue or back off. Usually it's back off because you have no more tools to chase once you use your E, right? Um, you know, you don't want to really use your ulti unless it's like free. But this is another option is you can run in, hit with the isolated Q, and then run immediately, right? Well, let's say you have six stacks, and then you can go for an all-in here, right? But that's that's just like really juicy six items idea. If you have if you have six stacks, you can you can do something like that. But usually speaking, you're gonna dash in, you're gonna you're gonna hit and run basically, um, unless you're all in it. Okay. Um, what else for E? Other than that, you know, uh, E value can be if really poor if you use it incorrectly. Like let's say a team fight's breaking out and you're just E into the fight, you would say this is probably poor value, right? Because you're not really getting anything out of it. And it's on cooldown now, so you don't want to do that, right? You want to you want to use it when you need the attack speed, right? When you're really trying to all in someone, when you're going for when you're going for a short trade, okay? So a short trade, which is what you'll see ruler do, or some kind of all in, right? When you're you're giga fed like Uzi, um, you can even use your E and then ulti in. If you're you're pure all in, you know you have the damage, so you don't need any you don't need the shield or you or the invisibility. You just need the raw attack speed. We're going in, you know. Um, all right, we're just going in, right? Um, and then you can also use it to, you know, if you're attacking someone, they think you have no escape, you can use your E, right? Those are all very good usages. Uh, other than that, um, standard invis invisible usages apply, like um, like we said, you know, going in one direction and then going invisible the other, right? Something like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, anything else? What else did I miss? Oh, I think you can um, use, you can queue up your W as your ulti. Right? 
So same thing with your W flash. Your W, w is going to come out from where you ulti to. So uh, something like we're going to hit this guy, okay? Right? We can channel our W as we're dashing, right? Is how it works. But you can't you can't W and then dash. It doesn't work that way, right? Um, maybe you can W flash dash, right? That's kind of cool. Woo! What's going on here? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so if we're trying to, um... wait, this is gonna be real spicy. All right, check this out. Uh, excuse me. Okay, hold up. Okay, when you're doing mechanics, um, you need to make sure that you have your moves planned out in game before you actually do it, because otherwise you're gonna screw it up like I just did. So, uh, we're going to. Uh, w flash Q ulti, right? Is the idea. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's that's not that's not that useful though. Don't worry about that. You just want to stick to the standard cases. The standard cases are gonna apply 99% of the time. Like, uh, like we said, isolate Q target. Make sure we're landing W, right? Anything like using our invisibility for good value, right? Dodging something, uh, misdirecting someone, you know, using it for an all-in potential or using it to short trade, right? Like that. That's pretty free, right? Um, same thing with our ulti usages, right? Over the wall to come in. Everyone knows that you should use it to, you know, instantly kill someone. Um, but one of the most common mistakes is, let's say this guy is low. People will lose their minds and 1v3 all in. But they'll use their Q like this and they do no damage, right? So um, be very aware of that. You know, you want to be very conscious of where you're ulting to. So the difference between ulting here and the difference between ulting here in the middle of them is very big. Right. Um, this one, uh, well, we're not quite isolating yet, but it's close, right? That's the idea. Um, versus you, you, you go into the middle of them and you're like, wait a minute, what do I do, right? So make sure you know where you're ulting as well, right? Pre-planning your ulti move is super important, you would say. Oh, I'm trolling. I wanted to go over the wall here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, dragon, hello. So that's spicy. Um, one thing you can do as well is during a gank is um, one thing we didn't talk about yet, but this is going to be super useful in general is let's say they're chasing you and this is their jungler, this is the enemy, this is the enemy, and then uh, this is your teammate. This you know, is looks like you're screwed, right? Okay. But let's say you run in this direction, everyone chases you, you can ulti behind like this. So the guy who's closest to your tower is your out, basically. Um, so yeah. Basically, imagine like you can teleport to this guy because you can. If he's ganking you, you can auto attack and then you can out. You, you can get out, right? Or let's say uh, you need to get out this way. You know, it doesn't it doesn't really work this way, right? It's, it's just not possible. You can go up here and then draw someone on top of you maybe and get out that way, right? Or let's say that's not working. You can't get out this way. Um, you can do something spicy like go like this and then <laughs> alt back. I actually did that once and it actually it actually worked really well because it confused everyone. So that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, those are some really uh, way, really easy way to get out during lane phase without your flash. You know, without having to commit your flash, right? Um, all right, last thing you need to, you need to know before playing Kaisa is how do you do damage? You just hit the closest guy. But the trick with this is you need to be able to what's a yeah? I guess you could I guess you could just call it orb walk, but. Um, Basically, your movement needs to be clean when you're moving and attacking, okay? And this is with six stacks, right? You should know that uh, you're not really killing someone unless you have six stacks on them. Or not that you have six stacks on them, but your your Gunsu's is stacked six times, right? Uh, so you can get its passive going. Other than that, you know, um, all your damage comes from isolated Q and your W, right? Your passive, your passive proccing. So you need to be able to do something like this, okay? So you go into practice tool and you do, you know, just right click a bunch of times. Make sure that you're not missing any auto attacks. You know, how do you know how fast you can hit? Just stand still, and this is how fast you can hit, right? So practice moving between hits. Cause Kaisa is super mobile, right? If she can hit someone, she's like super mobile, right? You wanna practice moving as you're doing other stuff. So like even using your Q, right? This is what you wanna do. This is your this is your daily practice routine if you're playing Kaisa. 
incidentally, you know, what, what we're doing before we pick Kaisa in game, so. Uh, I think we needed a, a refresher on Kaisa mechanics. Right, so go to practice tool, do all this kind of stuff. Um, you'll be good to go, right? As for just maximum damage, you're just hitting hitting one target. And you're proccing your passive as many times as possible. You know, that's how Kai'Sa functions. All this single target stuff is for burst, right? You're going to instantly kill someone. So against tanks, you would save it for the last second, if possible. For squishies, you just use it if you can. If you can hit them, you use it, right? And you're winning, right? So is there is there like a fresh dummy we could use? So let's see what's going on with this guy. So, whoa. Okay, it'll be okay. So let's stack six times and see how much damage we can do to it. Wow, Kaiser does a lot of damage really quick. Look at that number going up. This guy's a bunch of resistances too. So yeah, you don't want to do what I just did though. Uh, you don't want to use your E like in the middle of your attacks because it's kind of messing up your damage unless you're gonna you know your plan is we're gonna all in right after we do it or you're using it to dodge something like this is an Ezreal we're dodging something right like let's say this is an Ezreal use your E he's gonna save his Q until you come out and then you flash right or you can even do something like this and then flash right uh, that'd be really confusing um, but generally speaking don't use your E unless you have to okay Maybe I'm bad at Kaisa, so I don't know how to use my E, but that's what I think at least. Yeah, so that's basically it for, for, for Kaisa. Um, yeah, I think that about covers it. So let's see some, let's practice some interesting mechanics. Over the wall stuff is super important because we don't do it enough. Right? We definitely don't do it enough. It's just. Oftentimes you'll see me screw up, and then it's like, oh, this is awkward, right? Uh, this oftentimes you'll see me do something like, uh, like we're running away. Oh, we're screwed. I actually think using your practicing using your alt is super important on a non-marked target because sometimes you need to mark and then ulti. But if you use your ulti too early, um, you're gonna screw yourself over, right? So you, you gotta get the timing down right. So. You see that? Right? I pressed R before I even marked him, so now, now you know, we, we kind this of didn't do anything. Uh, it's really important to let the mark go out first. I think that's a big mistake I keep having is I hit someone, I, I spam R and it doesn't work, and then it works, you know, half a second too late, and I'm like, okay, well, that was not good, right? Um, another thing you can do is, um, let's say, uh, Twitch is coming after you, you can do something like... Um, Let's say, let's say someone invisible is coming after you. Let's say, you know, in the, nowadays you got Camille, Asset, you got Talon, Zed, that kind of stuff. You know, what do you do? Uh, you can do something like W Flash. Like, let's say you know he's coming over this wall. Uh, let, me, let me put a dummy here. Let's say you know he's coming over this wall, right? This is a common one. And let's say he's coming right at you with the Q. You can W Flash, right? Oh, well, hold up. Let me, let me make it better. You can W Flash, I'll attack, and then E out, and then you can, you can, you can dash to wherever... The opposite direction where he's coming from. So like, um, so he's coming to you this way. You go that way, right? This is a common. You need to have a plan for when they come out for you, right? So this is this is a plan you could use, right? Make sure you're getting isolated Q off. Make sure you're landing your E, and then you're really happy, right? That's probably too close. You'll probably do something like this, and then maybe you can get out, right? Um, so yeah, mark them. Use your W first if uh, you can, and that'll be really good. So yeah, that's pretty much it for. For these mechanics um, oh my god being able to move your screen is super important like I'm trying to go this way <laughs> yeah, you can even do some interesting stuff like uh, one thing you can do too is uh, let's say um, let's say this is a common one let's say this guy's running away and you just need to kill him. You already you already have him marked. You can ulti in as the W is landing on him, so you can finish him off really easily. That's a really that's a really good one, I would say. If you know your W is landing, you can jump in and go for the all in. But well, that's about it for kinds of mechanics that I can think of.